playherton.com and welcome to February's episode of Herton in North America News. This series highlights the Herton and Camogie community in North America and beyond. First up in North America news, after the winter break, clubs across the continent got back to training. GAC made the headlines again. This time they got the Dropkick Murphys to endorse their upcoming tournament in April. All right, we're the Dropkick Murphys here in Tulsa at Kane's Barroom with our friends from the Tulsa Gaelic Athletic Club. We want to let you know that they're going to be hosting a great event, uh, a hurling tournament with teams from all over the country coming to play them April 6th at the Veterans Park. Veterans yep. Park, I know. <laughs> I got it all. Uh, great stuff. Great sport. Come out and support the Irish here in Tulsa. The Dropkick Murphy's doing. We hope you do too. Maybe we'll be there. Perfect. Maybe. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Next up in North Carolina news, Charlotte celebrated one year of organized hurling with a hurliversary. Celebrations continued even though the weather wasn't too great, but you only get one first hurliversary. One year ago they started a rec league for hurling. And over the past month, they've grown their team to over 20 people. The reason why I wanted to highlight this is that Charter was originally a Gaelic football club. And by including Hurling, they've invited dozens more members to their club. Here's a few words from the team's founder, Scotty McKnight. Never until a year ago have we had any organized hurling in Charlotte. And that is largely in part to Caitlin and, 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 and to a lesser extent to Kevin to make sure that we could get this thing going. We ran two successful pub leagues, puck arounds all summer, almost every week. We had skills practices, and we managed to pull together a team and go to a tournament in Florida. And so, just wanted to recognize... Oh, fuck off! Kevin, yeah. these aren't for you! These aren't for you! Aww. Next up in international news, the 2019 World Gaelic Games is happening this summer from July 29th until August 1st in Watford. There will be a thousand players competing from 60 teams from six continents. Which really just goes to show that the GAA is a worldwide activity. The last one left is Antarctica, so if anyone wants to make the trek and set up a club there, go. I'll be in Watford for the World Games. Will you be there? Let me know in the comments. In her near me knows, the Travel and Hurl has travelled a total of 4,353 miles since the beginning of its journey at the USGA Finals in Philadelphia. In February, it travels from UNC Chapel Hill to Raleigh GA, and I'm excited to see where it goes next. You can follow the full journey on hurtonear.me. In Georgia news, the Atlanta Camogie team have launched a podcast where they interview players and talk about their growth tactics that they've achieved within their club. We're predominantly an American team that are new and learning the sport from scratch. And then we have a few that are Irish. Um, we've now grown to a team of about 30 registered players. We are having fire station workout. Where I'm going to incorporate some movements that are sort of fire station related, like dummy drags, using some tools like sledgehammers and carrying rolls of hose. I encourage you to check it out. I'll link more information below. And keep up the great work, Galanta Komogi. And February's photo of the month goes to Berlin GAA, who got creative with their recruiting efforts. It just goes to show that even when the weather is bad, and some players don't show up because of the snow, you can always count on a snowman to stand in goal for you. And February's video of the month goes to the GAA, who launched the Gaelic Games Archive in February. The archive allows you to watch over 500 hurling and football matches since 1961 for free. And if you're new to the game, this is the best way to learn from some of the greatest players of all time. Shisha La Morna Hamana, on Ireland hurling final day, the big day for hurling followers.
I'll link more information below. And a couple of month goes to UNC Chapel Hill, who took over the play part in Instagram and Facebook accounts during the month of February. During their takeover, they shared player profiles, they also shared an epic photo in front of the old well, and they continued the Hurden Near Me journey. And thanks to Seamus Holland for hosting the takeover and for growing the Hurden community in North Carolina. Make sure to follow UNC Irish Sports to keep up to date with the club. I'll link them below. Well that's it for February's Hurden in North America news. If you're interested in buying Hurton equipment, make sure to go to playhurton.com shop for hurls, helmets, and slitters. And I'll see you guys in the next video.